Hey guys, Video James here, and welcome back to some Destiny. And obviously, if you are a fan of Destiny, you know that today is a rather big day and did just get a lot bigger a little while ago, uh, but I will get into that uh, later in the video. But currently, right now, the Age of Triumph is live on Destiny right now. So uh, obviously, once you log in, update your game, and all that nonsense, you are greeted with this, and it says, the Age of Triumph exclusive for Rise of Iron owners, so you do need to have Rise of Iron as it has been for pretty much every single live event. You need to own the latest expansion, and um, so it has playlist updates, which is featured activity playlists have been expanded to encompass all Destiny has to offer. A new Daybreak mode has been added to the Nightfall rotation. Raid refresh, old raid favorites return with new upgrades and challenges. The darkness grows stronger, confront it once more. So for anyone who doesn't know, all of the previous raids from year one, such as Vault of Glass um, and uh, Crota, I think it's called Will of Crota. Everyone just calls it Crota and I completely forgot. Um, so Will of Crota, I'm, that's probably the name of it, and uh, King's Fall are now updated. But also... Wrath of the Machine has been updated with some new things and some new gear to earn, as you can see from the this image right here. All of these images right here, like, I think it's every two guardians. So starting from the left, um, we have the King's Fall armor, the Vault of Glass armor, the uh, the Will of Crota. I'm assuming that's what this... I'm just calling it the Crota armor. Crota armor, and then Wrath of the Machine armor. So, uh, yes, all the raids have been updated, a bunch of new stuff. And it's exciting, and I'm really, really excited to play it. Alright, so, we also have gear updates. New and updated gear is dropping in raids and other activities. There have been multiple changes to gameplay for balance. So, obviously, sandbox patches, special ammo nerfs, um, no land beyond, being put back to regular sniper flinch. Um, uh, one of the Iron Lord artifacts has been nerfed. I can't remember the name of it. Um... The sidearm ammo stacking thing has been patched, which a lot of people were upset about. So that happened, and auto rifles, I think, got a buff, and I think hand cannons got a nerf. So full patch notes are obviously on the Bungie website, so definitely go ahead and check them out if you want any further detail. I don't have them in front of me, so I don't really know what to say about it, and I don't have any statistics. I'm not Datto, so <laughs> I'm going to leave that to him. But, um, yeah, bunch of new stuff. Check out the hotfix if you are curious about anything else. It's just on Bungie's website. It should be right at the top of the page. And, um, obviously the last one, it says build your legend, complete challenges, and create a record of your adventures. Unlock emblems in your Age of Triumph record book. So, with that message out of the way, let's, uh, take a look at what we got here to start. First of all, this is my character. Haven't really shown it off all that much recently. I am a pair of boots away from 400. And I plan to get these boots in one of the raids. Uh, okay, switch back to Sunbreaker real quick. That's better. And, uh, yeah. Mine multi tool. That's my baby. Um, X Machina. Machina. Probably Machina. Uh, really good sniper rifle. Managed to get a challenge mode of the hard raid done. And, uh, in the process, I got this. And my Silver Red Dread. Which I'm completely fine with keeping right now because it's a beautiful machine gun. Now, obviously. Record books are not new to veteran Destiny players, um, but obviously, if you are a veteran Destiny player, a lot of this should be filled out. So I'm gonna unlock this, break this seal right here. I'm excited. Boom. All right. So obviously, we have tons of rewards, mainly emblems. No weapons, no crazy cosmetic things like that. It's just emblems, really, and they're nice emblems. They look really good, and uh, yeah. And obviously, if you hit rank seven. Um, Bungie will give you a code that you can enter into onto their website in order to get access to the Age of Triumph t-shirt, which you can indeed put your gamer tag on, which I am definitely striving for, because I am, I'm, I'm all for, like, merchandise and stuff like that from them. So, uh, moving on, we should, oop, there's a party invite from Thrash, and, yup, okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here obviously complete, so all of this is, I should probably, ooh, hold on. I should probably uh, clear out some of my emblems real quick because with the amount of emblems that you get, it's uh, it's going to be quite a bit. I can honestly scrap them all, but I really don't want to. I'm going to keep this one on and then, yeah, no, I don't want to scrap my default one. So let me just scrap 
You know what? That's fine. I'll leave six open. Screw it. And so let's just go in here. And let's complete all of these. All of this is story mission stuff. I've been here since alpha. So all of this is done. So boom, 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 boom. So that was a ton of emblems already. And if I'm not mistaken, that's filled up my... Yup. <laughs> It's all basically the same. It's all basically just the Destiny logo, which has, ooh, I mean, <laughs> it's giving me options now. I like that. The gray looks nice. And then there's obviously the classic. So I'm probably going to keep the gray and the classic on me. And then there's this one, which is the design for the Age of Triumph year two, or not the Age of Triumph, the, uh, um, it was, uh, for the record book, it was, hold up, I have it right here. It's, uh, yep, here we go. The Moments of Triumph. Uh, it was that record book where I got the t-shirt. Uh, it's the same design that went on the shirt, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so I just want to clear those out. Obviously, all these emblems go into your, um, uh, emblem kiosk, and God forbid they don't, you can always just pick them up from here. At least I think you can. I don't know, actually. Probably not. But, anywho, moving on to the next page. There's 13 pages in this book, by the way. And you do not have to complete everything in order to um, hit the max rank. So, again, this page should be pretty much done. So let's just keep going here. I already ranked two, and boom. That's another one, the tail told. That's another really nice emblem. Um, and Traveler's Eclipse, boom. That's one reward unlocked. Many more to go. And here we have a Titan... Mm. Hmm. Okay, so this one I don't think is accumulative, accumulated, it, a, pff, accumulative, whatever. It, so all of this is obviously tracked out behind uh, the whole time that you've been playing Destiny, which is why I have most of the first two pages, or all of the first two pages done, because I've been playing these missions. But I believe this is... You need to work on so defeat enemies with melee abilities it's 250 melee abilities complete the crucible oh yeah no that is uh, one that i have not done yet I, I got the solo one done and then i was that was it um and okay yeah no i definitely want to try for this one because i want the titan emblem so what do we need we need melee kills super abilities all of this is easy this is that's going to be a problem but um no so defeat opposing guardians of the crucible as a titan that's completely fine. That's 100 kills. Defeat enemies with grenades. Generate orbs of light. This is all going to be done in the next six months that we have until the sequel comes out. And I will get this done. Bada boom. And moving on. Nothing here. Nothing for the other classes, really. I don't really have anything for that. Unless they keep track on other classes. And then this is for strikes. Obviously, this I think you still do need to get done, like, I think now. So it's not going to be tracked from however long you did it. And, uh, there's, I think this is the Crucible. Dead Ghost, I can go back and do that quickly. That's no problem, that's Dead Ghosts. Uh, Capture Points of Control, my screen cut out. That means I got it. I always hate it when that happens. Anywho, uh, ignoring that. Uh, so these are all Crucible, uh, things that you can get done. Uh, Rumble, uh, again, Hidden, uh, Hidden Ghosts. Uh, win Crucible matches, earn points in Clash, um, or complete the Crucible Quartermaster bounties, and da 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 da, and then you'll get that emblem if you complete all of them. And then over here, this is for the raid. Now, I don't really do too much raiding, honestly, but I'm assuming this is all for, yep, this is all for the 390. Uh, complete the 390 light version of Vault of Glass, complete the 390 version of King's Fall, uh, eliminate all Gorgorons of the 390 light version of Vault of Glass. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. Cro complete the 390 light version of Crota's End. Crota's End. That's the name of the raid. We all just call it Crota. Complete 390 light version of Wrath of the Machine. When the 390 light version of Crota's End is the weekly featured raid, defeat the Death Singer's Challenge under the time limit. Two minutes. So this is a like a record. And then uh, Valor into Darkness. That's another emblem right there. And then over here, we have, for you collectors out there, uh, this is for if you collect ships, shaders, what is this one? Exotic weapons, and this is probably for, yep, exotic armor. That's no problem for me. I'm very close with all of these, so I can definitely get these. Grimoire, mm, that might be tough. Uh, I'm 500 Grimoire off, which is not a lot. Uh, I need two more, uh, one more Sparrow, actually. 
acquire emblems that one i need about it says 21 more right there and then there's an emblem having it all so uh there's that and then over here we have the wanderer this is dead ghosts uh dormant siva clusters public events uh disturb the <laughs> disturb the okay only year one players will know what this is um so if you're a year one player you obviously know the loot cave was a thing uh where you can just grind out for resources and stuff like that obviously that uh ability to do that and abuse it was patched and they replaced it with a little thing where if you go up to it it's in the cave and if you go up to it and hold uh x or square on it it will say a million deaths are not enough for master raul because it dropped engrams and master raul is the cryptarch and it was a whole thing there's probably tons of videos on it in on the internet Echoes of Darkness, collect all the classified fragments, I've done that. Uh, collect the Dormant Siva at the top of the Felwinter's Peak, did that. That's a cool one, how that's a thing. Uh, find Lysander's Cry. That one I might have to look up. And then there's the Wayfinder emblem. That's actually a, for the looks, but that's a nice emblem. And we're still going. Yep, and these are your allegiances. So, we have uh, the ones that I've done, Future Workhold, that's another emblem. That's a nice Future Workhold emblem. Uh, Crucible ranked up again uh the cryptarch and the vanguard awesome and then there's obviously all these other ones i don't know if i'm gonna get all these done and uh that's actually a really nice emblem though trust and honor this is for oh i've definitely hit rank five in iron banner maybe it's for a new one and then uh there's obviously 25 new monarchy i'm working on new monarchy right now so maybe i will switch to dead orbit for however long it's gonna take me and i believe that's it. In trials, I got nothing, and I don't expect to get this page done, so I really just gotta work on these pages. I hope that I can spare this page. If not, then I guess whatever. So what is this for? Um, uh, complete trial. Oh, that's not hard. Uh, defeat guardians and trials of primary weapons. This isn't terrible. I don't have to go flawless to get any of this, so I can get pretty much revive teammates, guardians with special weapons, wrecking ball medals. One wrecking ball medal. Uh, yeah, no, this doesn't seem tough. I mean, obviously, the hardest part for me would probably be the lighthouse. I've never gone there yet, at least in year two or in year three. So, I think I'll work on that, though. But I'll see how far I can get. And obviously, all of this, I will work on. So, 13 pages. Good lord. That's a lot. And then, I don't have enough space. So, let's go look real quick at our emblems. I know this is taking a while, but I just want to get this over with. And, um, so we have this emblem. This emblem I can probably get rid of, along with this this one's- Oh, wow! I might actually hold on to that. That's really nice. I dig that emblem. Alright. But now, we are gonna go to the tower. Seeing as though we have, um, a lot of stuff. And obviously, this is all updated. All of this. Now, the weekly featured raid is obviously here. Uh, and it's, uh, it's Crota. So, uh, there's- two challenges there's death singers challenge and the crota challenge we don't know what the new challenges are obviously or at least i don't some people probably do but uh that will be figured out eventually uh the nightfall uh denied elder sigil required what is this for oh this is challenge of elders okay and then this is the nightfall and then this is the uh weekly heroics and the weekly story playlist and uh combined arms for the crucible playlist this week so let's go to the tower Oh, whoop, hold up. What? I... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's at the tower. Oh, it's a cinematic. And then there's level one easy. So, launch. This is probably going to give us a trailer or a cutscene of some sort. Yep, it will. So, I'm going to let this play. From the day your ghost woke you, your light has been our beacon. You defended this city from the worst the darkness sent against us. Atheon, Crota, Oryx, Axis. When you are called on, you will do it again. The city's children tell your story to each other. Pretending to be guardians, they grow braver and more powerful with each retelling. They are no longer afraid. You have shown them, and you have shown me, what it is to hope. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. 
an age of triumph and remembrance. Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You fight for the traveler. You fight for those who fled here from a thousand nations looking for refuge. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. Not gonna lie, it gave me chills watching that. <laughs> it, it's it, this. This is a lot for especially people who have been here for the th for the whole three and a half years that this has been happening. It's it's definitely something to see this game and to where it's gotten, especially with the community as well. God, it's a shame that we're gonna have to let this game go, but we all know that the sequel is coming. And it's going to be fun. I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm going to talk about the sequel later. Because good lord do we have a lot to talk about with that. Alright. So we're in the tower. And obviously no decorations. And I don't expect there to be any. As this should just be for year one. Scanning. As it should look like in year one. And for anyone who's wondering. So um, the year one uh, intro screen. When you load into this game. Has been set. So all the uh, year one music that had happened. And the year one intro. And everything like that. When you log in. It's beautiful. It's a magnificent thing. Thank you, Bungie. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. So, we have some other emblems here. We got a green one. That one actually does look kind of nice. The Crucible one. That's pretty cool. And then the Vanguard. Ooh. Vanguard one actually is really cool. I'm going to hold on to that. Now I'm out of space. <laughs> um, We have a lot of freaking emblems. I'm going to get rid of this one, though. And then, I like the Future War Cult one, but I am no longer Future War Cult. So I will probably give that over to my warlock. And then this full, this one, and hold up. I just clear this out. Uh, clear the green one. And I will hold on to the crucible one. And the rings of triangle. Goodbye. All right. Now, I have... Uh, actually, before I do that, before I do what I was about to do, I'm going to go over to the speaker. Because the speaker, I believe, should have a new quest for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, let's see what that's gonna do. I'm assuming it's just gonna be running through all the new activities, and then eventually we'll be getting some rewards towards the end of it. I don't know how many steps are in this quest. I believe it was said before, I just can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, let's, uh, speak to the speaker real quick. Guardian, ah. you are our protector, our champion, our legend. I have faith that you will turn the tide that rises against humanity. Set the quest. Boom. No words after that. There is little time. All right. So it looks like we have to complete story missions in the featured weekly playlist. I am going to track this. And uh, yep, that's my thorn quest. Hold up. Um, so, yep. It looks like the first step is to uh, complete five story missions in the new playlist, which I will do on my own time. But uh, yeah. And so just go to the speaker, pick up your stuff, and uh, you can get started with that quest. Now, over here, I'm assuming all the emblems go into here. Yep. Oh, my God. There's a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and you get to preview what they all look like. That one's actually really clean. I like I like the new monarchy one. Um, there's all these ones. There's the titan one. Oh, I like that titan one. And then there's the warlock. There's the regular crucible one, the into darkness one, the strike one, the daily mission one. Uh, this one looks like the Twilight Garrison. The most toys. It looks like the Twilight Garrison emblem. Um, this is, uh, the, uh, World Explorer emblem. Uh, Trust and Honor. And By Fire. That's the Trials emblem. If you're a Trials guy, you're gonna like that. Um, yep. Yeah, and then these are all a bunch of Rise of Iron emblems. Obviously, this is all changed. Nothing new here. Okay. Now, there's that. Now, back to what I was gonna do. Uh, we're gonna... Oh, oops. Who waved at me? Who waved? Oh. Hello, how are you? Okay. Um, so moving on, what I was going to do is I have two thousand silver ready, and for anyone who doesn't know, as with any other live event, the Bungie has added in new boxes that you can buy, or you can Let's simply earn. You can earn can up to three a week, Titan. and um, this is what we got here: the Treasure of Ages. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here. There is when I'm saying a lot, I mean a lot. There, it's 
everything that has been in every loot box since the first live event. So all of the armor, so all the specter gear, all the plate of lamentation, which I'm wearing, uh, the lantern armor, the mark of the desolate gear, all, all this desolate stuff, all the taking gear. And then you got emblems, these are all the SRL emblems, um, emotes, ornaments, which is literally everything. Um, shaders, which, how many are there? Oh, there's not too many, there's only one page of shaders. Uh, masks, so all of the masks from the past two years of uh, the Dawning. Or not the Dawning, uh, the Festival of the Lost, my bad. The ghosts, if you want the ghost ghost still, you can get it. Obviously, Ghost Ghost, probably one of the more popular ghost shells out there. Mainly just because it's a it's the ghost dressed up as a ghost. If you everyone should have gotten that as soon as they saw it. The Devil Ghost. <laughs> this is just this is something right here. I prefer I prefer the Ghost Ghost, but that one's still nice too. Um, the ships. There's not too many ships. Yeah, no, there's only two. Um, and most of these I already have. Horns. This is annoying. All of these horns you have the uh, potential of getting, which, and I, from what I'm hearing, they're very common, which sucks. And all of the sparrows, which, if you're missing a couple, go ahead. I'm not missing any. But uh, you also get either a Days of Iron ornament, miscellaneous stuff, which is all these boosters and chroma and all that nonsense, and silver dust. Now, all the stuff that you want to get is going to be, obviously, the harder stuff. So all the, we have Age of Triumph armor or the Helm of Triumph for the Titans, which, by the way, I just need to look at this. Oh. If For anyone who doesn't know, this is my favorite armor set in the game. And I'm assuming, hopefully, we'll be able to disable the Chroma. I hope we can. And then, obviously, there's all of these ornaments. I can't view them, which kind of sucks. And then you have the ships. This is the Order Theory. Uh, whoa! Okay, that did not look like how I thought it was going to look. <laughs> it looks black in this image. It's white and blue with yellow accents. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a nice-looking ship. And then Needle and Thread, uh, this is the Fatal, oh, okay, again, another misleading picture. It's the white version of Fatal Vision. And Shaders, new Shaders, I want this one. All right, this one has to look good, come on. <gasps> oh, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it a lot, I want it, I want it. <laughs> I want that shader. And then there's a Barrage, which is a red shader. Oh, it's more of a brown and red, okay, interesting. And then the Blast of War. This is a very dark shader. Oh, very silver. I actually do like that one, too. That one looks really nice. All right. So, again, I have 2,000 silver. We're going to open a couple of these. So, we're going to acquire... All right, how, hold on. I'm going to do math here real quick. So, 500... Okay. So, that's four times. That's 12 boxes right there. This, if we do it... 10. And then we're going to have... I'm doing math right now, and this is tough. Uh, 10, 11... Wait a minute. So does that mean... That probably means that... So this is... So we'll, we'll be able to buy the, the bundle of five twice. 1,600. And then 400 left, which means we can do uh, two of those. So 12 in total. But if we do this... Uh, nine, uh, that's the same number. It doesn't matter. I had a feeling that they would do that. I just did it just to double check because that's just how I am. Thank That's God good. I have an even number of freaking silver. I always hate it when I don't have that. Right, so we're going to buy... We're only buying that much. And uh, we have 12 of these right here. There's something in my post. Or down here. There's another emblem. Oh yeah, this one. Never mind. Okay, let's open these. So we have 12 of these. And you can earn three a week. So let's see. Here. Oh, I got something. Uh, the bit storm Sparrow. And I think that just completed the Sparrow thing. And I got the chess piece, which is awesome. Definitely going to want this. And it activates with an orange chroma. I, uh, yeah, it's a shame. You can't disable the chroma, which kind of sucks for me. Um, so I'm going to, I've prepared for this. I have infusion gear because I do want to wear this armor. I'm going to infuse this chest piece into that. Boom. That is 400 light. Put that on real quick. Obviously, the intellect buffs and all that. I have to, ugh, the back is empty. Ugh. That's my one problem probably with that, if I had to say something. And I got a sparrow. I got the Bitstorm sparrow. I didn't have this one? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. Interesting. Okay. So that's fine. Um, let's just... Ugh, there's gonna be so much stuff in my post later. Uh, let's just keep going. Uh, we... Ugh, good lord. This is gonna be a lot. <laughs> uh... Oh, my God! 
I got the ghost ghost. Okay. Wasn't really aiming for that, but that's cool. I got the ghost ghost. And that's just silver dust. Things are probably just piling up. I do want some of the weapon ornaments. Some of the raid ones would be nice. Uh, Spectre, Spectre Mark. Yeah, this is my one problem I think I'm going to have with this box. There's going to be so much stuff to get to the point. Ooh, and I got the helmet. Let's go. Okay. The Tiger Shark ornament for uh for the Dragon's Breath. So hold up. I'm going to put that on. That looks dope. Hold up. I'm going to infuse this. I prepared yet again. Another raid helmet right here. I have so many raid helmets because I did the raid like three times on hard. So, uh, all right. We're looking pretty good so far. I definitely want this full set. I, if we get this full set in these seven packages, I'll be a happy man. Dragon's Bane. I actually didn't have that, and I'm actually kind of happy that I do have it now. Because I didn't have that on um, my bad juju. Uh, uh, Helm of Lamentation. Don't need that. I already have it on. Um, come on. Devour of Moons. Okay, so that is the ornament for the Necrochasm. So... I never got the Necrochasm in year one, so hopefully uh, if we run by this again in the raid when I do it, uh, we'll, uh, hopefully get it. The Traveler Mask, okay. I don't know if I had that already. I might have. I'm, I don't know. I can't remember if that was in year one. Royal Flush. I believe this is Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't have that, so I'm fine with that. All right, two more. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that full set. Oh, okay. Hold on. I swear to Christ. If we get the boots, I'm going to have I'm going to be so happy. All right, so hold up. So that's on. Boom. Okay. We look dope. Please boots. Please. Please boots. Damn it. All right, that's fine though. Unless my boots are no, they weren't full. Damn. That's a shame. Okay, that's fine. I didn't expect to get the full set in one sitting, but I'm very happy that I got most of it. And eh, ghost ghost awesome. Definitely don't want to dismantle that. And uh, candlelight, I have the shader right now. Yeah, oh, Jesus, that's bright. Um, so, uh, yep, I can just scrap that. That's fine. Um, and the wiggly leg dance. Oh, does it teach me how to Dougie? Okay. But uh, let's, uh, I want to see what this armor looks like with chroma. So, uh, hold up. So uh, the chest piece had orange chroma on it. If I don't like it, I'm going to just dismantle it, but... It looks like orange chroma. I will rock it. I will rock it. I'm completely fine with it. So, uh, let's see if I can get all the armor real quick with orange, because I do, if you don't know already, orange is my favorite color. So, I'm gonna waste all my glimmer on this, probably. Please, orange. And I don't want to pass it. If I pass it, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, this is gonna be a phase. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, boom. Alright. Now the helmet. Just gotta do that. Um... Please don't make me waste all my glimmer. I just got it all back. Thank you. Okay, boom. We actually look quite decent. The boots don't match, but we look good so far. All right, look at us. <laughs> and the Titan symbols on the back of the helmet. Okay, this is the and the Age of Triumph logo right smack front in the middle. All right, so let's check the post real quick and see what we have. Um. Name. We have an SRL emblem, and we got the Devil Ghost. Okay, okay, hold on, <laughs> pause. <laughs> okay, I did not expect these items, the Ghost Ghost and the Devil Ghost, to be so common. Oh my hell, dude! All right, I'm out of space on a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put some of my stuff in the vault. I'm gonna cut to when I'm done because I do have some stuff to talk about as far as my channel goes and some Destiny news. So uh, I will be uh, back in a minute. Just let me clear this out. Okay, guys, so I've cleaned up my inventory a little bit, as uh, I got a lot of stuff. But, um, anywho, I was also testing um, some shaders that go well with this armor with orange chroma. Darker shaders, like black ones, probably would look the best, because the orange on here is not very dominant, uh, compared to, like, some older sets. So, uh, just some advice from that one, if you do tend to rock orange chroma like I do. But, um, anywho, I want to talk. I want to talk about some news real quick before I go. So, first of all, we ha I plan, of course, obviously, because of this update, I plan to do the raids, each one, completely. Hopefully completely. Maybe some challenges here and there. Obviously, right now, the challenges are weekly, so we do have to wait for things like Vogue to be weekly. 
Hopefully that will be weekly next week, because I think my raid team is most excited for Vogue. And you're probably going to be seeing Vogue first, or Vault of Glass for people who don't know what Vogue means. But, um, yeah, we're probably going to be doing the raids in chronological order between all the new ones and all the old ones and everything like that. So, Vogue first, uh, and then Crota, and then King's Fall, and then... Wrath of the Machine updated. We'll try doing some challenge modes. We're probably going to wait until challenge mode is active that time, because obviously that's not a new raid to us, and we're not. my raid team specifically isn't particularly too big of a fan of the raid, of that one specifically, but I mean, we're, we're still willing to get it done if we need to. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And then um, another thing that I just wanted to talk about, obviously in the title, uh, obviously, if you are a Destiny fan, again, you will probably know that there has been a Destiny 2 trailer set to release. Obviously, um, it was revealed on the Destiny YouTube page. Uh, if you want to check it out, obviously, head on over there. I will probably have a link to the description in the trailer if you want to see it. Uh, I'm not going to annotate it just for copyright reasons, just in case. But, um, yep, there's a trailer out. If you guys want to see it, or the teaser to the trailer, go ahead and check it. Link in the description. And the trailer, the full trailer, worldwide, will be launching um, on March 30th, which is this Thursday. So, not much longer to wait until we get our first look at this. And then I'm expecting some more news to drop here and there after the trailer. And then probably E3, we're probably going to start getting our first look at the game itself and see what's in store. If they show off any game footage, I will be very surprised in this trailer. I will be utterly shocked, because... It's a very early stage right now, Destiny 2. So if they show off like um, if they show off any form of gameplay, I'll be very, very surprised. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Um, so if you are excited for Destiny 2 as much as I am, don't be afraid to let us know in the comments. Have a conversation with me, and uh, we can talk about it and stuff like that. So um, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to give my first impressions of Age of Triumph, all the new stuff that was added in, and obviously talk quickly and briefly about destiny 2 and uh yeah overall i think um the pack openings were a success got some armor that i wanted and i'm very happy for it and uh yeah i'm gonna go work on this quest now probably i don't really know if i want to film it because it's not really new it's not it's not really anything that new i may film a daybreak strike with some friends once uh i can actually get some people on because most of my friends can't really get on until the weekends which is why by the way the raids, the videos for the raids, yes, they are going to be long, and probably they're only going to be coming out on the weekends, because that's when we're all good and we can record for however long we want to, and we can uh, just do it, no interruptions, no one going AFK, no, oh, I gotta leave for this, and something like that, which has happened on many occasions, trust me, and um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that, so starting Friday, probably going to be a VOG video, it's, mmm. We're going to record, or I'm going to record Friday. That video, though, probably won't go up until Saturday, because that is going to be a long video. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do some editing for some uh, things that will be said, because I can't control them. <laughs> but um, it'll be fun. I hope to do it. That's a very big thing coming up. Those, like, I think, four raids, I think that's about each of them is going to be at least an hour and a half long, if I just do it uncut. There's no, oh, well, I'll probably cut them. Like, if there's bits of silence every here and every now and then. But, uh, yeah. I will definitely try to do my best to keep it as short as possible. Because raids are long, and they take time. And I would stream it, but the last time I did that, when it uploaded to YouTube, it didn't upload properly. So, I'm not going to take that risk, and I'm just going to record, because it's big. We all love these old raids, and we want to capture the moment. And... Probably another thing that I'm going to do is probably make a compilation video or like a tribute to Destiny saying thank you for this game and for doing what they've done with it. Easily, my favorite game right now is this, and obviously I get I get a lot of hate for it sometimes, but I don't care, honestly. This is a very fun game. Me and my friends enjoy it. We love playing this game. We've, <laughs> we've laughed a lot. We've uh, shed tears a lot. We've broken many controllers a lot. <laughs> but, um... It's, it's been a hell of a ride. I'll say that much. And to see this game kind of close off 
and open a new door. I'm excited to see Destiny 2, but t to put this away, ugh, it's going to be tough. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it. So I'm probably going to do that video. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take. It'll probably, I'll probably upload it a little bit before Destiny 2 comes out, which for any of you who don't know, the pretty much confirmed release date is September 8th. So that's when that game's coming out, and expect a lot of videos on that, obviously, when it comes out. But there will be some games that do come out before that that I will obviously record, but currently right now, all the news is in Destiny right now for me. So, yeah. Uh, so that's it. Expect the raids this weekend, and um, expect a, comp uh, a tribute video sometime soon. I don't know when. I will keep you guys posted. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please click that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to see more content from Destiny, and much, 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 much more to come, as this game may be ending, but I am not stopping, and neither is the Destiny hype train. I will tell you that much. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video.